Breathe it in. That's fear. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back, you guys, to another video. Episode number 17, the bulking series. This series has been going amazing, you guys. Thank you for all the support so far. Now, it is currently 9.27 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I just took a shower and cleaned up my room and stuff. I woke up at like eight, but I've been hanging out for a little bit, so it's time for breakfast. And what better way to start the day than with some freaking pancakes? Let's go! Of course, gotta make these pancakes with some blueberries and some syrup. So this like bag of pancake mix calls for a certain ratio, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and go for that thickness. All right, that is pretty much perfect. All right. I just got a pan here. I'm gonna put this on like medium heat. That should be good. Now I wanna lightly grease my pan with some olive oil, but I don't want the whole pancake to taste like freaking olives. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. Just kind of dab that on a paper towel, absorb it in, and just smear the pan. So we've got one really big pancake. I'm gonna put some blueberries on top, just like that. Spread them out a little bit. I'm gonna let this bad boy get nice and cooked. And I'll probably have enough for like two big pancakes. Oh baby. Okay, not bad, not bad. If you guys noticed there, I re-greased the pan before I flipped it over. Cause yesterday it kind of soaked up all the grease on that first side and then it burnt a little bit. So this should be better. Pancake two is looking a little ratchet. This one, more aesthetic. I'm gonna hit it with the flip on camera. Boom, look at that. If any of you guys say that is burnt, that is not burnt. It's just enough color to where you get that delicious flavor. Look at that, ooh. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Little stack of pancakes, blueberry pancakes. Cheers. This is why I love bulking right here. I'm telling you guys, you just set yourselves up with the right foods to where bulking is fun. I mean, it's easy. Mm. I'm gonna finish these. I'll see you guys soon. One of the main reasons I'm excited about the winter. My girlfriend got me this cologne called Stronger With You Intensely. It certainly is strong, intensely. It's too strong to wear in the summer. But now that it's winter, I can wear it. All right, so it's 10.45 now. I finished my breakfast like an hour ago. I'm just gonna go for a walk. It's a really beautiful day here. The weather has been just amazing where I lived the last four days and it's usually horrible at this time of the season. So I'm taking full advantage, getting some sun on the face. Also, if you guys didn't know, for sleep, it's really important to get sun in the early morning. It helps like set up your body's circadian rhythm really well so that when it gets later in the evening, your body like actually knows it's time to start feeling tired. But yeah, I'm gonna walk to the store right now because I. I have nothing else to do and I'm just gonna grab like a few small groceries and then I'll probably come home, make another small meal and then I'm doing a little meetup with you guys. Any of you guys who subscribe to me that live in Dublin, I'm gonna be giving out a bunch of stuff in my closet. I've got so many pieces of clothing from Young LA after working with them for almost two years. So I'm gonna do like a closet giveaway at noon over near where I live and I'm gonna probably film some of that too so you guys will see that later. And hey, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, go down there and click that thumbs up button. Two seconds later. Nah, this is actually criminal. They literally don't have anything I came here for. They have like a mix, but they don't have normal mango. Guess I'll have to get that. And they don't have sausages. All right, they've actually got these like loose hot chicken legs that are just like pre-cooked. So 
so I'm gonna grab like two of those. And last but not least, some honey. Usually I would steer clear of like some gnarly chicken. It's like in a bag, but for some reason, grocery store rotisserie chicken is always just extremely delicious and juicy. Some of you guys might already know this, but if you ever buy like a pre-cooked hot rotisserie chicken at the grocery store, you can just like eat the whole thing in one sitting because it's so perfectly cooked. So I'll definitely slam those legs before we go to the gym later. I gotta try this chicken while it's hot. It's just something I need to do. Let's see if this is good. Let's pray this is good. Hmm. It's not bad. It's definitely not great though. Eh. For three bucks, I'll eat it, but it could be better. When you get chicken that's a little bit dry, you get some of this, sriracha, squirt that on there, and then you get some of this. All right, finish my chicken. I'm gonna make a smoothie real quick. All righty, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's good, good smoothie. Now, while I'm drinking that, I got two freaking trash bags here. I'm going to stuff these with Young LA clothes and then bring them to this meetup I'm going to in like half an hour. Yeah, I have just so much Young LA. It's not that I don't want the stuff, but I literally have too much of it to wear. So I wanna like recycle it, give it back out to some of you guys who have supported me. Obviously, I really appreciate you guys for being able to put me in a position where I'm able to give other people clothes that they really wanna wear. So that's super awesome. And that was made possible by you guys using code Lee at Young LA checkout to support me. So thank you guys, I love you. So, I'm literally just gonna go through a ton of stuff here and just pack it full. So you got like a tank here, put that in there. Another tank. This is a lot of clothes, you guys. Ugh. All right, we got one huge bag. All right, guys, now we got bag number two. So much stuff here. Okay, there we go, bag two. Two giant bags of clothes. There's like a ton of like tanks and like smaller items in there. I think there's literally 50 pieces in those two bags. So whoever comes to this meetup in a second, you guys are lucky. But yeah, guys, just to reiterate, I have immeasurable gratitude for those of you who support my content, support me with my discount code Lee. Like I know you guys don't necessarily know. It really does affect me like in a positive way when I see you guys supporting me on a consistent basis. Like it gives me the motivation to make these videos for you guys and just just keep striving to be the best version of myself. So really from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I love all of you. Code Lee to the top. I got the clothes. I'll see you guys there. Let's go. All right guys, we got our little squad of people here. You guys all get your Young LA? Yeah. yeah. Hypothetically speaking, right? What code would you guys use if you wanted to purchase Young LA and get a discount? Code Lee. Code Lee. Yeah, there you go. Code there you go. Lee. Alrighty. And just like that, all the clothes are gone. The guys who came out are savages. They annihilated those two bags. There's nothing left. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully I'll be able to do more giveaways soon. Cheers. Still gotta finish my smoothie from earlier. And then I think I might make another meal before I go to the gym in a little while. All right guys, so we're doing good on calories so far. Current time is 1.46 p.m. I would say we've had like three meals, two meals if you combine meal three and meal two. So I'm gonna do one more before we go to the gym and then we're gonna hit a workout. The classic. All right guys, so I'm gonna measure out two portions of rice so I can have some more later. That's 265 grams. So I'll split that in half and do half of that for this meal. Don't forget to salt your rice, guys. Makes it taste way better.
All right, guys. So we got our beef and rice here. I'm gonna mix all this up. The good thing about using a uh, higher fat percentage beef is the beef fat will actually kind of render and melt as you're cooking it. And then when you pour it on top of your rice, it's almost like liquid and you can just kind of rub all the rice in it and it gives all the rice that good kind of beefy flavor. Just makes it a lot more enjoyable in my opinion. I'm gonna stir all that together. Gonna hit this with some honey and some sriracha. And we need our Bev, so I got some Diet Coke here, or Coke Zero. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna kill this meal, and then I'm pretty sure this is the last thing I'm gonna eat before we go to the gym. So I'm gonna give myself some adequate time to enjoy this and digest before we train. See you guys soon. I gotta wake up. So I finished that meal like an hour ago, and after, I just sat down on the couch and totally fell asleep almost not really but I was like like dozing off and like on my phone and I'm just feeling super lethargic so I gotta like slap myself and wake up and hit this workout we gotta get hype we got the new blackberry lemonade grill mode nitric this is uh the Halloween special I'm gonna do one fat scoop of that for this workout guys this flavor is dropping on Monday October 16th so by the time you guys are watching this video this is gonna be live on the gorilla website I'm gonna put a link in the description Definitely give this one a try. I think it's their best flavor yet. Blackberry lemonade just tastes delicious. Oh, it's gonna give us a fat pump. Make sure to use code Lee. That'll save you guys 10% off too. I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to get this, get this chest workout energy up. I gotta figure out a way. What am I gonna do? Look what we got here. A precious resource. This is a uh, sea salt. Not just any sea salt. It's like a high quality mineral sea salt from the French Riviera. So this stuff is packed with minerals that you need for optimal hydration. I'm gonna put some of that in my pre-workout and the pump's gonna be freaking insane. It's gonna be crazy. Sip this down and then we gotta get changed and get out of here. It's kind of a cold day here today. So I got this cozy oversized t-shirt and I got some joggers too. All young LA, of course. We got a little secret sauce under the pump cover, but you'll only know about that once we get a chest pump. And we're off. So like I said, guys, chest day today. My triceps, I don't know what I did the other day. I did like some bench pressing and they've just been really sore the last 72 hours. Like even right now, they're still sore, but normally it would like, my triceps would have been fully recovered after three days. So I'm hoping that's not gonna impact the session too much. Now I've got lots of food in my system and I took a scoop of nitric. So this, assuming I play my cards right, should be a great chest pump. You guys probably noticed that I'm always walking to the gym. That's because the gym is like, it's about a 15 minute walk away from my house. And it is on a slight incline uphill. So it's almost like I'm doing a little bit of cardio just to get to the gym, which makes it even harder sometimes to get up off your ass. But to get up off your ass and just go, when you actually are able to do that, I'm like really proud of myself. I'm like, wow, I really just climbed up this hill just to hit a workout. It's two workouts in one. But yeah, pretty much my favorite workout of the week is probably chest. The pump and everything is just so satisfying and it makes it really enjoyable. All right, so I'm nice and warm. I did one working set at 25. I wanna go up to 30s, just because I haven't been very good about progressively overloading my dumbbell bench press. I'm kind of scared with my shoulder, but I need to break through that mental barrier and just trust that with the good form and everything, I'll be okay. So I'm gonna go for a really heavy set and just hopefully get at least seven reps. We'll see what we can do. Like I've gone way heavier than these. I've probably done like 75 or 80 US pounds on the incline dumbbell bench, but with my new like approach to training, I never really go this heavy. So this should be exciting. Okay, so I got like six or seven reps. They felt smooth, but my right shoulder, which isn't even my shoulder that normally gives me trouble, just randomly felt weird during that set. So I'm gonna try it again and see if I can dial in the form better, but I gotta be careful because my shoulder was feeling sketchy. All right, 
I'm happy with that set. That was three sets to failure. So I'm gonna leave it there, but nice. Went up to the 30s today. We went heavy, we progressively overloaded, we challenged ourselves, and that's gonna help us grow. It's gonna make our chest get big. I'm out of breath. All right, next exercise is going to be dips. Now these aren't just gonna be body weight dips. I'm gonna put a weight belt on and I'm gonna strap like a 15 kilogram plate onto my belt and I'm gonna do weighted dips. These are absolutely insane for building up not only the middle and lower part of the chest, but your shoulders and your triceps too. So I'm gonna try to do three sets heavy with these as well. you guys weighted dips are not for the faint of heart and if you guys aren't strong enough to do at least three or four reps you really shouldn't be strapping on any weight it can be a dangerous exercise if you don't have the form down but if you guys are able to absolutely give it a try because one of the best exercises there is and I think they're super underrated look at any of some of the best bodybuilders of all time Arnold some of the greatest chests like bodybuilders have ever had they've all done dips religiously so if you're sleeping on dips it's time to wake them up and get going Keep fighting. I'll break myself. Even if there's nothing left of me, I will win the way I want to. I'll destroy myself before I accept defeat at your hands. You got that. I don't want there to be any doubt that I'm the best student at the festival. That's only possible if you come at me as hard as you can. If you want to win this, why are you even here? So dips just felt absolutely incredible. I'm having an amazing workout right now. My strength and just my like able ability to, not able, but my ability to like just tap in feels really strong right now. So I'm gonna do some shoulder press and probably have that be my last like major compound exercise. And then I'll move into some more detail work like maybe flies, lateral raises, triceps, that type of thing. It's good to play your workouts by ear because sometimes if you feel like your energy is lower, it might be better off not necessarily doing that third compound exercise. So today I'm able to actually go to that point because I know, okay, my energy's good. And you can make that assumption based on how you feel on the day. You guys ever have those workouts where you just feel invincible, your energy is perfect, you feel like you can run through a brick wall, like nothing's gonna stop you, you're strong, powerful. That's one of these workouts right now. All right, so pec flies feel 
good, did two sets, but honestly, I don't want to do anything more for chest. Like I'm pretty much fried in the pectoral department. Something I've talked about before is the law of diminishing returns. And basically what this means is if you do something too much, the amount that you'll actually get out of that thing will eventually start to decline. So let's say your first or second chest exercises of the day, your gains and everything is gonna be up here. But the more you do, the less you're gonna actually get out of those exercises for extra growth. You only really have three, four, maybe five quality exercises in a gym workout before your overall like effort based on the gains you get out of it isn't worth it. So what I always say is once you start to feel like your energy is going down, call it and just move on to the next muscle group because it's always better safe than sorry. You're also going to be putting yourself at a higher risk of injury if you're doing like way too many sets after your chest is already fatigued. So don't push it too hard. Just work hard in those few sets you do have and you're going to be fine. Done, 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 done. Great workout. Bro, it smells so freaking good right now. It smells like smoky and fresh. It's a little bit cold to where the air is kind of like crisp outside, but then it's also got that like fresh Irish breeze smell mixed with like some smoke from someone's fireplace and burning peat. Oh, it smells just like really comforting. Also, another dope feeling is it's literally only 6, 15 p.m. right now. I'm just leaving the gym. And for once, when I'm leaving the gym, it's actually not dark, which is also fun. Usually I leave and it's like the middle of the night. I just had like an incredible workout. Workout. That was probably like a 9 out of 10 workout. The only complaint is that my shoulder was getting some weird pain towards the end. I don't know really what happened exactly, but it feels fine. I'll just give it some rest. Insane session though. I'm telling you guys, the best freaking workouts are the workouts that you don't necessarily want to do. Like you remember earlier, I was like on the couch. I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I got to wake myself up, go to the gym. Like, bro, it would have been so easy to just say, screw it. I'll skip the gym today, take a nap, not go. But now that I've gone, oh my God, the endorphins are flowing so proud of myself for just getting in there and guys always go to the gym never skip a workout Bobo Bobo Bo is back on the vlog Alrighty guys, so we got the post-workout meal here. More beef and rice. This is the exact same meal as the pre-workout meal we had earlier. I also have my Coke Zero with some ice in there, as you guys can see. If you guys don't put ice in your soda, trust me, it makes it so much better. I'm gonna mix up my beef, get everything well combined and eat it while it's hot. And this is going to be our like literal fifth meal of the day, I think. We're doing good on food today, guys. We're doing very good. Let's give it a taste test. Good. Good. All right, let's eat. Update. I just about finished that last meal, like I'm still chewing it. And now I've got this uh, sorbet. In this whole tub, there are about 300 calories, so I'm gonna have this too. Also, my dog looked cold. I put a blanket on her. Come on, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Pre-bed physique. We're feeling good, guys. Not we, me. I'm feeling good, but I mean, bulk's paying off. But um, yeah, I'm done eating for the day, so time for me to head to bed. Before I go to bed, all right, I'm gonna pop up a picture right there. Fat Young LA Restock coming on the 16th. That will be live by the time you guys watch this video, so make sure you go tap in. A ton of like some really OG amazing items are back. If you guys grab anything, make sure to use code Lee. Best way to support me, there's a link in the description as always. Yeah, thank you guys for all the love on the YouTube recently and on this bulking series. We're not stopping anytime soon. I'm taking this to episode 100, episode 1000. Just keep showing love with the like button, the comments, subscribing, everything like that. And there's gonna be no shortage of videos. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned and until then, peace out.